everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have my WWE Royal Rumble 2021 predictions. And that is absolutely absurd because that means it is officially the four-year anniversary of the MDT channel. My first ever video was a Royal Rumble predictions video that I believe I posted either on a Friday or a Saturday. I can't remember the exact day. I could look it up right now. But my first video ever was Royal Rumble 2017 predictions in which I predicted the winner correctly in Randy Orton. And I feel like my track record's pretty good on predicting Royal Rumble winners. And when we get to the winners, or maybe at the end of the video, I'll plug all my predictions in from the last four years and see what my record is. Even though I'm pretty sure I picked like two or three in some of those videos. Nonetheless, we've come a long way since then, Brad. And nothing has changed about the Royal Rumble as far as my excitement level, as far as how much I love it, and as far as my intrigue for it. So this year, man, I think this is one of the most unpredictable Royal Rumbles of all time, and I'm super excited to get into it. Lots of potential winners, lots of potential surprises. I am ready to go, Brad. You know how the Royal Rumble is, guys. It is tomorrow night. I'm going to probably do a reaction video to the Royal Rumble itself as well. I'll set up the camera and, you know, record it before each entrant just in case. You never know who the hell's going to pop out. But I'm excited, man. Some great matches on this card. Some matches I'm like, eh, you know, we'll, we'll get into all that. But I can't wait to predict this Rumble, man. I'm excited. It's Rumble season, Bradley. Best time of the year to be a wrestling fan. So that being said, guys, we're going to run through the whole Royal Rumble show, giving you my own thoughts and predictions on the feuds, where I think they'll go, what I predict will happen, what we're setting up for Mania, and all that BS in between. So let's shut the hell up and dive into Royal Rumble 2021 and get into my predictions for this Sunday show. Alright, guys, let's start things off with the women's tag team title match. Asuka and Charlotte challenging Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax, or I guess Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax are challenging Asuka and Charlotte, and I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this one because you guys know how I feel about the women's tag titles. I really don't even want to get into that right now. That's a whole separate video I need to make, to be honest with you. But Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax shouldn't have even been a team to begin with. But I think they are going to put the tag titles back on them for no apparent reason at all. I think Charlotte and Asuka have bigger fish to fry. I think we're going to see some sort of fall apart in this matchup between the two. Maybe Charlotte turns on Asuka, vice versa. Doesn't really matter. They're not walking out with the women's tag titles unless they lose them at the next show, but I'm going to predict Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax win the straps back, and then, uh, yeah. Because I think Charlotte is destined for a championship match at Mania, or a match with Lacey Evans. Maybe Lacey Evans cost Charlotte in this matchup, leading to their loss, and Shayna and Nia winning, like I said. So, I'm going to go with Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax to capture the women's tag titles again. Yawn. Next up, guys, we have the SmackDown Women's Championship match between Sasha Banks and Carmella. God, we need a new Carmella. Look at this. What is this? Figure looks like a damn Barbie doll or so. Like, look at the arms. Anyways, not really looking forward to this matchup. I feel like we've seen this matchup quite a few times. It just feels that way. I feel like this is our hundredth match between the two. I feel like I'm just not interested in this match. I'm sure it'll be a lot better than I think because Sasha can pretty much put on a damn great match with a brick. WrestleMania main event, brick versus Sasha Banks. I like the brick's odds. But I think Sasha retains here. No doubt about it. Sasha Banks retains. I think we have much more developing storylines coming after the Royal Rumble. And I feel like championship matches are usually pretty broad at the Royal Rumble. This doesn't really scream that for me. Even though I do like Carmella, she's improved a lot. I'm going to go with Sasha Banks to retain. Wouldn't make much sense otherwise, and I'd be completely stunned. And uh, yeah, Sasha is going to retain. Next up is our Universal Championship match between Roman Reigns and my boy KO. These are two of my favorites on the main roster. You guys know how I feel about KO. Roman Reigns has just slowly crept up into just my one of my favorite guys to watch, man. He's just so fun to watch in this character that he's been on. And as much as I love KO, guys, it's just not going to take place here. Roman Reigns is going to retain. He's on a crash course for the main event of one of the nights of WrestleMania. He's going to retain. It's, it's not upsetting to see. It just sucks that KO is getting this opportunity when he's challenging Reigns because I know the matchup's going to be great. Story's going to be great. We'll probably have some Uso interference. Maybe Jimmy comes out in this matchup. Who the hell knows? But I'm going to go with Roman Reigns retaining for sure. I just want a good football game. I want my boy KO to look strong. He's looked strong so far in this feud. I think he's looked damn good. Should be no different right here. I think it would be an excellent story. Maybe KO could be a surprise entry in the Rumble after failing in this match, possibly. Even though I typically don't like that. Like, you guys remember when Roman Reigns lost? Didn't he, like, lose a championship match and then he was number 30? It was like, that was that what the hell was going on then? I remember my pissed offness. But KO will fall short in this match. Roman Reigns will retain, and we'll just have to wait and see who awaits him come WrestleMania. But KO will be failing in this, even though I'd like to see KO for the Elimination Chamber. Next up, guys, is the WWE Championship match. Drew McIntyre defending against
against Oldberg here. I'm sorry, Goldberg at Royal Rumble. At the Royal Rumble, this match has me scared to death, Brad. This matchup has me just on the edge of my seat, just God in heaven. You guys know the track record of Goldberg. He'll come in, he'll swoop in and just destroy somebody's momentum, right? He did it to KO, he did it to The Fiend, and Drew McIntyre may be his next victim on this momentum killing tour. And God in heaven, man, why do we let this company put us through this? Like, God in heaven, man, let let a guy have a damn run. Let, let, let these naturally built guys that have put in the work all year get their due diligence. Why well, you gotta get the old guy come in, squash their face off, ruin all their momentum, and nobody, like, nobody likes it, do they? I mean, there's like a, probably a hand select few that enjoy this, but Jesus. I just pray to God that Drew McIntyre wins, guys, but I'm afraid. I'm really afraid. I don't know what the hell's gonna take place. I almost feel like predicting Goldberg to win, because I know the past. I know Vincent Kennedy football, McMahon. Oh, God. I've been sitting here, man. I don't, I don't know who the hell to pick. I'm going Goldberg, man. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't like it. I don't want to see it, but I'm going Goldberg. That's it. I don't trust Vince McMahon. I'm going Goldberg. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. At least I'll be glad that I'm wrong. It's a win-win. If Goldberg does win, I predicted it. If Drew McIntyre wins, thank Christ. All right, guys, it is time to predict the first of our two Royal Rumble matches. We're starting things off with the Women's Royal Rumble. So far, I think there's about 12 announced for this thing, 12 or 13 or something like that. You got Nia Jax, Charlotte Flair, Bianca Belair, Bailey, Mandy Rose, Dana Brooke, Peyton Royce, Alexa Bliss, Shayna Baszler, Liv Morgan, Ruby Riot, Tamina, and Natalya. Now, I think in this thing, we're going to obviously have some returns in this thing. It's kind of hard to predict because I feel like, you know, with the women, they could, they could bring somebody back from way back when. They can bring somebody back from NXT. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a large range, I feel like, with the women's compared to the men's, because there's more men on the roster. It fills out more of the Rumble, so the, the surprises are kind of few and far between, whereas with the Rumble, I feel like we can get like five to eight or so. Now, women that are not right here, but I, I'm pretty sure are going to be in it. You got Lacey Evans. You got Sonya Deville, I'm sure is going to be in this thing. We'll probably have some legends sprinkled in there, Trish Stratus and et cetera, possibly Lita. Now, some things that I would absolutely love in this to see in this thing is I would love to see Rhea Ripley come out in this thing. I think she has a really good chance to win the John Brown thing. I would put her in my final four probably. I also think somebody that will return to this Rumble will be Naomi. I think Naomi has a really good shot to come back in this thing after coming back from injury, after being drafted to Raw in October or something like that. And barring a return at number 30 for Becky Lynch, we've covered this multiple times in my fantasy booking video and everything like that. She had her and Seth's child in early December, which would make it like six to eight weeks or so that she has, you know, been postpartum taking care of herself. She's been on paternity leave for a while now. Barring her return at number 30, I think the only way for this thing to go, I'll give you guys a few predictions, but my sole prediction, I'm going to go with Bianca Belair. I'm going to go Bianca Belair winning the Royal Rumble. I think it would be absolutely beautiful. See her and Sasha lock up. Maybe you could get Bailey involved in that matchup, have a triple threat at WrestleMania. I'm going to go Bianca Belair, possibly Bailey winning, and then Becky Lynch potentially winning at 30. That would be absolutely insane. I think that'd be one of the greatest Rumble moments ever, especially if there was crowds or something like that. But boring a Becky Lynch return at 30, I'm going to go with Bianca Belair. I would love to see Becky return. I'd absolutely shit myself, but I just don't think that would be able to happen when you look at how long it takes to recover. I have an 11-month-old, and I know how difficult it would be to wrestle with a freaking, what, eight, nine-week-old baby. That would be insane. They do have the Thunderdome, which makes it easier, but that would be a really tough thing to do, and I don't know if that is possible, but I, I think that would be an amazing moment. Just don't know if it's able to take place, but my final four in this thing is going to be Bianca, Bailey, Alexa Bliss, and Rhea Ripley, and you always got to have a Charlotte Flair in the back of your mind, man. She could come out there and win her 80th Royal Rumble. I know she hasn't won 80 Royal Rumbles. I'm just saying. She's, she's always in the mix. But I think Lacey Evans will eliminate Charlotte, and that'll be your match right there. But yeah, final four, Bianca, Bailey, Rhea, and Alexa Bliss. I can see it going all four ways, but I'm going to go Bianca Belair to win the Women's Royal Rumble. And uh, also, if Ronda Rousey returned, that would be great. Don't think it'll happen, but just throwing it in there, I'd love to see that. But yeah, I'm, I'm going final answer, Bianca Belair. And last but not least, guys, we have the Men's 
Royal Rumble, what it is all about, what this show all comes down to, the 30-man Royal Rumble. And again, I feel like this year, more than any other year, it's just so unpredictable. There's so many different ways that they could choose to go. Are they going to come with a, you know, returning superstar? Are they going to go with a building up a superstar? Are they going to go with somebody who maybe should have won it in the past? I don't know. I really don't know. But I'm going to do my best to give you guys my predictions. So far, I think 21 are announced, but you guys know there's going to be more than that. Like, some people on the night of the Royal Rumble are going to declare themselves in it. We're going to have some things. There's going to be a lot of, like, guys that are on the main roster that didn't really say they were going to be in it, but they're going to be in it anyways. Maybe a couple NXT call-ups. Maybe a couple NXT show up. Maybe a couple injury returns. And maybe one or two big shocking surprises. Now, I do have some guys on the wing that I'm going to show you guys that I think will return to this Rumble or that I think will be surprise entrants. And I already did a video on this yesterday. If you guys want to check that out, definitely go check out my surprise entrance for Royal Rumble 2021. I'm not going to put all those in this video because this is going to be more of my ones that I hardcore think are going to be in it. And the first one is going to be Jimmy Uso. I see Jimmy Uso finally returning. He'll be alongside Jay. Maybe he doesn't agree with Jay. Maybe he does agree with Jay and just joins the bloodline. I think that will definitely take place. Another one that I think could happen and potentially return at the Royal Rumble, guys, is going to be Jinder Mahal. I think Jinder Mahal will show up at this Royal Rumble. So I'm going to go with Jinder, Jinder Football Mahal returning from injury and getting in that thing. I think our NXT champion Finn Balor could show up at this Royal Rumble and make an appearance make a representation of NXT. Another one that I think is pretty much locked up is going to be Seth freaking Rollins. I think my boy Seth Rollins shows up at this Royal Rumble. First time since Survivor Series we're going to see him. I think he does return in the late 20s and I think he returns with the burn it down theme and uh, he is back to his old gimmick. He's not going to be the Messiah anymore. You guys know the Messiah sacrificed himself at Survivor Series and then the last huge surprise that I think we could see is going to be Brock Lesnar. I think Brock Lesnar returns at number 30. I think that is what I'm going to call. Brock Lesnar is your number 30 entrant and uh, I don't think he'll win it, but I think he'll be a part of the final four. And I think my final four, I, I think that there's a really good shot for a lot of these guys, but I'm going to go with my final four as Daniel Bryan, Keith Lee, Brock Lesnar, and Seth Rollins. Now, I think Edge is going to get eliminated by Seth Rollins, and that's going to set up a Mania match right there. I think Randy may get eliminated by The Fiend. I think The Fiend may do some mind games in this thing. Possibly he even returns in this thing. I think the Fiend could also show up in this thing, but Final Four, Seth, Daniel, Keith Lee, and Brock. I think Keith Lee eliminates Brock Lesnar, setting up their match, or vice versa. Final Two will be Daniel Bryan and Keith Lee. Seth Rollins gets eliminated somewhere in the mix, and then Daniel Bryan eliminates Keith Lee, winning the Royal Rumble, and Daniel Bryan goes on to take on Roman Reigns. That is my final hardcore prediction. Daniel Bryan wins the Royal Rumble. I'm hearing that it may be, you know, what this may be his last year, and he could retire very soon. I don't know how true that is. I'm just giving you what I what I hear on the pulse, you know, keep my finger on the pulse there. But I'm excited, man. I, I can't wait to see what happens. I can't wait to see what returns we get. I would love to see Samoa Joe potentially return. I'd love to see RVD come over from Impact. I know he just left there. Jimmy Uso, like I said, I think a dream return or a dream scenario, if you guys missed my fantasy booking video, would be John Cena returning. I'd love to see John Cena return in this thing. But I'm going to go Bianca Belair to win the women's, Daniel Bryan to win the men's, and I I'm going to predict the order of the Royal Rumble on my Instagram. Go follow me at my damn toys. And for every correct entrant that I get, I will be buying a figure from Ringside Collectibles. So there you go. I do that every year. Last year, I think I got one. And it was Brock Lesnar because he was declared as the number one entrant in the damn thing. Shows how good I am. Anyways, guys, I think that does it for my Royal Rumble predictions. Let me know what you guys think of them down in the comment section below. Who do you think is going to win the Royal Rumble? Apparently, there's some scary plans in the works, like something crazy is going to happen, which makes me think Goldberg is going to win and then Brock Lesnar is going to win the Royal Rumble or something crazy like that. But hope to God that won't be the case. We'll just have to find out and see. But I'm excited, man. I can't wait for the customs and the attires and the moments and the surprises and the reactions, man. It is all going down, and I cannot wait for it, guys. But that does it for my Royal Rumble predictions. I hope you guys did enjoy. Stay tuned for my Elite 84 reviews going up this weekend. I am going to put a couple up, one today, one tomorrow, along with another video for the Royal Rumble. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will
will see you guys in the next video. Damn it. Gotta get into the random shout out. So this random shout out is going to go to WHD Pit Creator who says that damn gender football mahal. That made me chuckle. I like that. You guys know gender football mahal will return at this rumble and he's gonna win it. I'm just kidding but huge shout out to WHD Pit Creator for the damn gender football mahal comment. Thank you so much for that. But I'm getting out of here guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and don't cross the line. I predict that the winner of the Royal Rumble will be Randy Orton is going to win the Royal Rumble this year. You want it, who I think is going to win from an unbiased perspective. Um, I think Shinsuke is going to walk out of it. You know, we like everybody knew that Randy Orton was going to win. That sort of was a whim. I, I totally predicted it. Shinsuke Nakamura, same thing, totally predicted that. And if that were the case, then I think that Seth Rollins would be the given winner. And I think that is who I'm going to pick as my projected winner, is I think that Seth Rollins will win the 2019 Royal Rumble. Intro that I think could win is Drew McIntyre. Now, I don't know why I feel like Drew McIntyre is just not going to win. I feel like we say this every year that he's going to win the big one. He's going to be a champion. He's going to be this. He's going to be that. But it never happens. Oh, man. I think for that reason, I'm not going to go Drew McIntyre. And I, I, I feel like I want to go Roman Reigns or Kevin Owens, but I feel like the the freaking, uh, I don't know, I just don't see them giving it to Roman Reigns now. I, I think I'm going to go with my boy Kevin Owens. I'm going to go Kevin Owens. I'm going to bet on my boy Kevin Owens. I love him to death. I'm betting on my man to win that thing. I'm going Kevin Owens, my official pick for the 2020 Royal Rumble. Hopefully that happens, but uh, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and don't cross the line. You cross the line.